I'm Mark Allen, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. There's a long-standing argument in the reef world about which is more important, flow or lighting. I'm personally on the middle of this argument. I feel that they're both equally important. And since we have lighting on the Red Sea Reboot handled with the Red Sea Respec LED, it's time to talk about flow. And flow on this tank is handled in two ways. One with the return pump, and two with the in-tank flow. Return pump flow and in-tank flow are two completely separate things. I do not count the flow from the return pump for in-tank flow. There's just not enough flow spread out across the tank to matter, especially in the Red Sea Max 650 with its single return nozzle. Plus, a return pump is a constant speed pump, and I like varying flow in the tank. What about flow through the sump created by the return pump? I'm a fan of less flow in the sump, so there's more contact time with mechanical and chemical filtration. Plus, less flow is quieter. There's no need to rip water through your sump or the back chamber of your tank. With AC pumps, the flow is constant, and the only way to control it is with a valve, and you have to hope that your head pressure calculations are correct, and the pump that you choose is giving you the flow that you want. With the DC pump, you can dial in the flow you want, like what we did with the Red Sea Max 650. We replaced the stock AC return pump with the Cichet STC 7.0, and we're running the pump at a medium setting. When we want more flow, such as when we add a media reactor, we'll simply increase the flow on the Cichet Control All app. The Cichet STC line also runs so cool that you can monitor your tank's temperature through the pump. Your tank's temperature shows up in the app. Tank temperature monitoring via your return pump? That's crazy. When I'm looking at in-tank flow for a saltwater tank, I'm thinking about three things. Number of power heads, rate of flow or strength of the power head, and then where am I placing those power heads? I like multiple power heads as opposed to one large power head. And in the Red Sea Reboot, we've got a power head on each end, and then four power heads along the back. The right side of the Red Sea Max 650 gets a Red Sea Reef Wave 45, and the left side gets a Red Sea Reef Wave 25. I chose a smaller power head for the left side of the tank to keep the left side of the tank open when you enter the room and first see the tank. The Red Sea Reef Wave 25 is placed higher in the tank to help keep that side of the tank more open for viewing. The Reef Wave 45 is placed further down as I want to create more undertow to help keep the sand bed clean. I also want to move more water down the length of the tank as it's a more powerful pump. The power heads along the back are there for supplemental flow and will vary their flow with the Neptune Systems Apex controller. I'll cover that more in the next episode. Once I have the size of the number of and the placement of the power head set, then I move on to the intensity of flow. I'm always using DC pumps, so controllability is always there, and controllability is important to me. I want to create varying flow patterns for a couple of reasons. To help eliminate flow dead spots, keeps your corals from growing with the direction of flow when the flow is strong from only one direction, and increase fish activity. Yes, fish are actually more active when you vary the flow patterns in your tank. Flow intensity is done with the Red Sea Reef Beat app and we're running both pumps at 40% intensity until we get some coral in the tank. The Reef Beat app comes with pre-configured flow patterns such as Uniform which creates pulses of flow at a set intensity, Random Wave which changes the intensity and duration of flow pulses, Regular Flow for those of you who resist change, Step wave, which increases the flow predictably. Surface wave, which creates short flow pulses meant to create a standing wave, or you can create your own custom flow pattern. Since the Red Sea Reef waves can flow backwards, some settings let you choose forward or reverse flow settings. Reverse flow settings is useful if you want to push water down, such as blowing off your sand bed. Changing flow intensity is done easily with the dial in the app, and you can dial in the pulse time on certain settings as well. There's lots of control inside the ReefBeat app, and it's also very easy to use. I've now got two big pieces of the reef tank puzzle set, lighting and flow, and now it's on to one of my most favorite parts of building a saltwater tank, automation. I'm Mark Kelly, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.